Hey, it's David. I want to do a quick update on the energy usage for the air conditioning depending on what the temperature is because last time I did a video, it wasn't really that hot. I mean, the car was parked in the sun and I left it running for an hour. Um, today is a freaking hot day. It's 104 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It's about, I don't know, 38, 39 Celsius. I'm going to go back and forth between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm just going to uh, put in the uh, correct values as text in here. Anyway, so this is pretty much the test for the extreme condition in the desert. So I have the car parked here and we're going to have a look, quick look how much power it's drawing. So if I look at this, oh, it's hard to see because it's um, the th It's called thermal controller. I don't know why it's called that way. It's about a little over one kilowatt. Um, so in an hour, let's say 1.1, we need about 1.1 kilowatt per hour in these extreme temperatures. By the way, I had the air conditioning set to uh, 69 Fahrenheit. Uh, I think that's 20 degrees, 20 and a half Celsius, I don't know, something like that. So that, that's usually a comfortable temperature for me driving. So in an hour of driving, I would use uh, just to round it up, maybe 1.1 kilowatt hours. That's, um, to be generous, probably four miles of range. So in an extreme summer heat like now, with 104 degrees Fahrenheit, the extra energy usage would be about four miles for an hour worth of driving. In other words, if you're doing a road trip and you're driving for about to maybe a little over two hours, you would lose, you know, eight to 10 miles, just to be generous. I don't think that's actually a lot. I expected it to be more, but considering this is really like the worst case scenario in terms of temperature, um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty efficient. That's pretty good. Another thing to consider is actually the battery likes it hot. Lithium batteries work really well. They perform better. They have better efficiency when they're hot. So if you're driving in a very hot climate right now, it's uncomfortable for the human, but for the battery, it's actually really good. So you're actually getting a better efficiency from the battery, which compensates for at least a little bit of the loss for the air conditioning. That's why um, the losses when you're driving in hot climate are not quite, quite as big as when you're driving in a cold climate, because a cold climate also means that usually your battery is pretty cold, which decreases the efficiency of the battery. So you see a worse um, overall energy consumption per mile in cold climate versus hot climate. Anyways, that's all I have today. Just wanted to do this little quick update. I think it's pretty efficient. Let me know what you think and see you next time.